Carla with Texas Fried Disney and I want to know are you in the last minute crunch to get that Halloween costume together don't fear I'm here to help and show you how to make a great no sew 100% no sew tutu for that little princess in your life these things are awesome they're so easy that all of our girls made their own we use them at our Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party on this last trip and they turned out really, really cute. So if you're thinking to yourself, yes, Carla, show me how to make a tutu. Carla, please show me some more DIY crafts. Then hit that like, hit that subscribe button and we can all live happily ever after. So let's get started. All right, so to make our tutus, we're gonna need a couple of things, right? Of course, we're gonna need some supplies. So the first thing, the major thing that we're going to need is some six inch tool ribbon so six inch tool ribbon looks like this it comes on a little ream you can get it at walmart michael's hobby lobby i actually got a whole box of these like 12 of them different colors all different colors teals and pinks uh on amazon okay so you can get them there they're about a dollar maybe two um they come in just a flat um what do you call it just a flat um tool with no glitter then they come in this glittery one i'm telling you it's gorgeous look how it sparkles but it is a mess it feels like you've been slapped with pixie dust seriously but they're really really pretty and they make the tutu look really nice we use that in michaela's um you can't see the picture too good um see the glitter too well on that one but hers was filled with glitter it was really nice so you're going to need about four of these um to complete a tutu for an adult my size I'm a little poo sized, so mine is gonna be a little bit bigger than everyone else's, of course. So um, then we're going to need um, some tape. That's gonna be to secure a portion of the thing here. We're gonna need some gross grain ribbon. If you're not familiar, it's the ribbon. I don't know if you can see this. This is the ribbon, it kinda has the lines that go up and down, and it feels kind of ribbed texture on the ribbon. So this is the type of ribbon that you want to use. Very important because you're going to cut it. And again, we're not sewing anything. So you want to use this one because it doesn't fray on the ends, except for that. But you want to just cut that little stuff off there. So we'll need that. Um, you'll need some fabric scissors. The very important, don't just use any old scissors and fabric scissors. I'm always on my kids about not using my fabric scissors to cut paper or anything like that. So we'll make sure we use those um i have some pre-cut pieces all of these colors are beautiful but today we're going to use red and black because we are making an incredibles themed um tutu so get that going i have some cut pieces pre-cut here um but let's get started so the first thing that you want to do is you want to get your ribbon together so I'm a little poo size, so mine is a big piece. However, this is the great thing is there's no measuring really involved. What you're going to do is get a, a spool of ribbon and you're going to wrap it around the person that you want to use. The important thing is to make sure that your ribbon has enough to tie a bow in the back. So when you wrap it around that person, go a little extra so it has enough for you to tie it and it has some cute little uh, fringe hanging at the end. So we're going to do that. Now, where you're going to tie your ribbon is important because you want to make sure that when you're adding your tool that you're not going to go over the the and, and take away too much of your ribbon. So I marked mine off with a couple of hair clips. You could do it with paper clips. You could do it with safety pins. Any way that you can indicate where your bow is supposed to start and where you're supposed to put your tool. All right, so I've secured my ribbon to the table and you just wanna do it loosely so you can still be able to, cause we're gonna need to um, pull, you know, put the, the tool under there. So you don't want it too tight, but you don't want it loose so that it's flying around either. All right, so we have that ready. Now we're going to prepare our tool. So you'll also need a 15, or probably 16 inch board. This is actually a 16 inch board, just something, it doesn't have to be fancy, just a nice piece of uh, rectangular board. All right, so we're gonna open up our tool. 
Get that open there. And then what we're going to do is you want to remember what side that you're using. So if you want to, maybe a good idea is to mark it or cut a notch out or something because it's kind of important to remember. I'm just going to cut a notch out here on each side so we remember which is the side that's open because you don't want to wind up cutting multiple sheets. You want it to kind of wrap around. So you're going to All right, so we're going to put our tool over this piece here, the bottom. If you could see, it's kind of bright. So we're just gonna put our tool here and then, all right, so put your tool here and then just wrap it around. Making sure that you keep that first part that you put down. And we're just gonna wrap it around it's a little awkward at first until you get a rhythm. I usually put my hand inside of there underneath the tool, stick a finger in this one and roll it just like this. And you just keep doing this all the way around until you get to the end. It comes off in a little tube like that. And here you have that other side now remember we made notches on the inside to indicate so inside of this tool is the other open end here's the open end you have there so now what you want to do is you want to take your scissors and get inside of that um, little tool cocoon and you just want to cut straight across So now you have these longer sheets of tool. And this is basically what it's your tutu is going to be comprised of or composed of. The ribbon, the tool. That's it. No sewing anything. So So now that we have our tool cut, we'll use this black one. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to put it together. Um, two colors instead of just one, um, because first of all, it gives a nice layering look, and then also it makes it a little bit thicker, and and um, it fills it up a little bit more. Um, if you double it like this, maybe that's why I have to use for but you know the great thing about this is that it is um, Very forgiving and you can really choose to do it however you like But so in my case, I'm going to take these two pieces lay them on top of each other And then I'm going to fold them in half and make a loop like this So then what I would do is I'm gonna take this loop and you could start at all the way back here, but I'm gonna start so you guys can see it on the camera. You're gonna put it underneath there, just like that. The next thing you're gonna do is take your hand and put it through. You're going to take the other end of the tool, the bottom part, you're gonna bring it right up into your hand and you're going to pull it through like that. And then, you're going to just pull it. Here's when that tape comes in. Because the tape should be holding it down and mine isn't. Let's see. There we go. And then you're just going to pull it. And so you see how it's attached to... Alright, so let's do that again. We're going to put lay them on top of each other. We're going to 
have them with a loop. We're going to put the loop under the ribbon, put the bottom through the loop, and pull. And I would recommend that you don't pull them too tight right now because you can adjust them. And another fun thing that you can do is actually um, add ribbon. So you can add some embellishments to the tutu, um, and I'll show you how to do that. So we have some ribbon that you could add into the middle of your tutu, and it's the same process. Have it up, loop under the ribbon, Now, if you're gonna be a little bit rough with your tutu, you might wanna consider doubling these. Um, you could certainly um, do that after you have made the initial loop. You could always tie them so they'll stay a little bit more secure. Um, that's one thing. I haven't had an issue with them coming apart, but I know some people are, um, may be thinking, well, what if it comes apart? So just tie it to um, kind of keep things secure. Okay, and so we'll put another ribbon on this side. And you might, again, wanna go back and not, not the second one, if you do, until you move them around. If you keep them loose, then you'll be able to move them up and down and, and kind of arrange them and poof them out. But so far, it's looking pretty good, I think. And so let's do some more. All right, and here is the finished product. A little tutu. This is actually Janessa's tutu that she wore for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. I want to show you how everything just took care of itself. So putting on those um, strips of uh, tulle and then, like I said, make sure you're pushing them together, made its own waistband. The ribbon, when we left a little bit of that ribbon at the end, it made its own closure for the tutu. You simply tie it and untie it. No elastic, no anything like that. Um, when I went back and looked at how much it cost for me to make this tutu, it was probably less than $10, definitely less than $10 uh, to make this tutu. So just think of all the possibilities. I mean, I only did, you know, let you know of the ribbon, but think of if you were using several layers like rainbow colored, you can make these for any occasion you can make them for easter you can make them for christmas things like that so keep in mind of all of vers how versatile this is it doesn't have just to be for halloween it could just be for something fun something that you and your girls can do so if you make one of these tutus i would love to see it please leave me a comment down below on if you made one and um, anybody give me experience on that glitter tutu is really fun and really pretty all at the same time um, but yeah I would love to see if you make one they're very fun and um, I would love to do any some more DIY for you if you want to see me do any more DIYs let me know that as well um, and I would be happy to do that for y'all. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and see y'all real soon. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. See y'all real soon.